Okay, so for today's video, we're going to show you how to tie a standard pellet rig. Uh, we do sell uh, here at Castmaster uh, ready tied rigs, but these, this video is for the purpose of the people that want to tie their own rigs. Um, to tie this rig, you're going to need a sharp pair of braided scissors, a baiting needle, obviously a hook, a swivel, um, some pellets, obviously, as bait. You can always also use this rig on boilies, and some hot link. The products that we're going to use for the purpose of the video is we've got the, the 50 pound, the, the 50 kilo, 110 pound Danima hot link. This comes in 20 meter spools. This is an extremely strong hot link, uh, very abrasive resistant. Um, and the thing I like about this is the fact that it's white, um, it, so it, it's clearly visible to carp, so you don't catch carp by accident on it. Um, the pellets that we're using in the new 28 mil uh, Catmaster pellets. These are extremely oily, you can see it coming off onto my fingers. Um, so really great attraction for the cats. The fact that they're bigger as well, the 28mm, means that they stay on the hot link overnight in warm water. Um, the swivels that we're using, this one is an 80 pound swivel. This uh, is more than sufficient enough for, for 99 out of the waters that you're going to fish in the UK. The hook that we're using, again just for the purpose of the video, this is uh, the boilie pellet hook from Catmaster. This is a 3 0 hook. Um, it's a big, big hook, sharp point, extremely thick gauge wire. This, this is going to stop any cat that's going for a snag. Uh, you can lock, you, you're going to be able to lock up, and that, that hook is going to hold. It's not going to snap. It's not going to bend. Okay, so the next stage of the video is we're going to start the end of the rig. Um, I've cut off about two and a half foot of this, the Dyneema hook link. And that's just for the purpose of the video, I'll talk rig lengths with you soon, later on. Um, so first of all, we're going to tie just a two-turn grinner knot on the end, which I'll show you how to do that. So basically, get your, get your uh, Dyneema hook link and just create a loop like this. And then just pinch it, fold it over, and then just make two turns over twice. And then the loop that you've made on the left, just put the tag end through that and pull it tight. So now you've got a two turn grinner knot tied on there. And the good thing about this knot is it's adjustable. You can pull it and it comes tight and it, it, it shortens the loop at the end. You can hold the knot and then pull this end and the loop becomes bigger again. So basically you've got a sliding knot on there which is adjustable. Okay, so we've now got our loop on the end of the hot link. We now just obviously need to put some bait on, so get your baiting needle, put your baiting needle through the pallet, onto the loop, pull it onto the hook link. For this video we're going to use two pallets on the hook link. Now you can see the loop is oversized compared to the bait. Now instead of using a pellet stop, because what happens when the pellets are in the water, they obviously uh, get dissolved by the water. So some people just put a pellet stop in the end of that loop, pull it down. Um, the way I prefer to do it is have the loop, put it back over the end of the pellet. Completely over like that. And then that, that's your rig. Cut the tag end off there, and then we're done. Okay, the next stage of the rig is to attach the hook. For this rig we use the knotless knot, which basically means hold your hook like that, and put the tag end of the line through the back of the, back of the eye, and then just pull your hook link down, right down to your bait. Now this is a good question of debate now between the anglers is how far do you have the hook away from the bait. Some people prefer the bait right up to the hook like that. Some people say you should have a gap. Um, myself personally, I, I like the hook just slightly just off the bait. And then to tie this rig, all you do is just hold the line up to the rig. Now where the hook has actually been made, you've got a gap on one side where this bender over meets the rest of the hook. So. To start, you have to you have to do a few turns onto the rig now. Always do it away from 
like you can see on this rig, the metal, there's a gap at the top there, so you don't want the line to get trapped in there, so what you do is you start your turns this way. Again, the number of turns is completely down to the angler, but we'll do two, three, four, five, six, I like seven just because it's my lucky number. And then what I do is I then wrap the line round once more around underneath and I believe that just stops stops a bit of movement in the rig and then get get your tag end put it back through the end through the eye of the hook again and then just pull it down tight once you pull that down tight you can now see that uh, your hook is now attached and that won't move okay so now I'm just going to cut the tag end off And there we go. So the next bit now is just to attach the swivel. This is the bit where you now have to decide how long a hook link that you want. This is a question that I get asked all the time. Um, I usually use them about two foot long, but it will depend on the water that you're fishing really. Um, some fish that have been caught lots of times and are very wary, uh, they will actually go looking for the lead. If they find the bait, they'll go looking for the lead. So in, if you're fishing for hard fish, I would use a longer hook link. Um, and that, again, that will depend on the time of the year. I find in, in like March, April and beginning of May, the, the fish have just woke up, they're hungry, they're not that rig shy, they've not been caught for months. So, um, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Once you start getting into July, August, uh, the fish have been caught a few times, they're rig wary, they know they're being fished for, the lakes are filling up, they're swimming around, there's lines everywhere. Start using a, hung, a, a longer hook link. That's just my opinion, but that's, that's, that's what I do. Um, for the purpose of the video, again, it's about two foot long. We just now need to uh, tie the swivel on. I, I, use, I always use grinners. I find they're a really good knot. Um, for the people who don't know how to use a grinner, uh, again, swivel on the last finger, through the eye, swivel down into the right hand, make this loop, pinch the line, make, make a little loop on the left hand side, and then just turn it over. The number of turns will depend on the thickness of the braid that you're using. Um, this is 50 kilos, so this, this isn't really going to snap. Um, so I would use a four, turn, four turns on that knot. Back in through the loop on the left hand side. Just dampen the, mo the knot, moisten the knot. Pull it down tight. Tighten the tag end. Pull it down tight and you've now got a standard pallet rig all ready to go.